When you visit North Devon Hospice for the first time, you might be surprised by the atmosphere. High on a hill, overlooking the beautiful region it serves, it seems like a cheerful place. But surely a hospice is a grim place where you come to die. Derek is living at home with a life-threatening illness. Once a week, he visits the day hospice. When it was suggested I come up here, my reply was, what do you know that I don't? How much longer have I got to live? Because hospice people come to die. Hey, that's, that's the common supposition outside of here. They said, no, it doesn't have to happen that way, Derek. You'll go up there and you'll enjoy it. It gets me away from my wife. <laughs> and it gets her away from me. Both of us are at home all the time and I've always been a very bad patient, for want of a better word. The cared for gets fed up sometimes. We try to make sure that people live something along a normal life and it's actually again trying to encourage them to be able to do as much as they can for themselves with assistance. Few people welcome the thought of coming to a hospice but when Peter visited day hospice he found something special here. I rather rebelled against the idea of coming here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being pressured into doing something I don't want to do and I'm persuaded to try it. I find it a delightful place. You can come here and people are so kind, you even forget the pressures of the world outside for a few hours. I shall come here as long as I can. People relax very easily and become much calmer within the first couple of hours, really, of being here. To her surprise, Mary felt at home straight away and she discovered a hidden talent. This is my very first effort. I'm really hooked on it now. <laughs> I only came for one day because the doctor told me to come and I said I probably won't go back again and then since then I've been all the time. People are so lovely here, especially the nurses. I just felt really happy and safe and secure. And it's really great actually. I go home feeling happy whereas before I live alone and it gets quite depressing if you're ill. For Eric, coming into day hospice is the high point of his week. Everyone like this gentleman here, so kind, they're all helpful, everybody is try, trying to pass on a better standard of life to you and get you out of that feeling of being down in the dumps that you're not worth any more in life. Everyone that's concerned with this place is for the betterment of the situation that they find yourself in. Coming to Day Hospice is about meeting people and sharing experiences, even if they're about your cat. Our mog is gone. Quite quick, my silky friend pattered up the lane where all roads end. So long to sleep, so long to play, so long to groom the hours away. So much to give, so short a stay. Happy memories. As well as day hospice, there is also a bedded unit for people like Jackie, who are more seriously ill. It's a very warm, welcoming place to come when you're feeling a bit scared, don't know what's going to happen. Um, lots of reassuring people, very professional in what they're doing. And it's, it's, just, it's just like home from home, really. That's how I can be. I feel as comfortable here as I would at home. When, you know, when it was first mentioned, I sort of hesitated. And they said, oh, go up, you know, and see, see what you think. And I thought, well, it can't hurt, because I had a friend that had died here when it first opened, and her husband could say nothing less than the highest regards for the treatment. And I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to go up and see. And I just was blown away. I guess the, the essence of local hospices is that they are of their community and for their community. And that is wrapped up also in the people that work in them, that, you know, they, they are of the community and supporting their fellow North Devon residents. So that, that's what kind of makes it special, I think. I still do the old ways with the pillows as well. Openings away from the door. That's right, yeah, I was taught that when I did one. They say hospice and you think dying, but it's not at all. It's all about living here, it really is, and getting the best quality out of it. 
Many people think of the hospice just as the building you come to, but more often it's the hospice that comes to you. But the visible bit of it is the sight and the inpatient beds and the lovely environment. But by far the majority of the work is happening in the community. It's happening in people's homes, it's happening privately, it's often behind closed doors, it can be often emotional. Keeley is one of North Devon Hospice's community nurse specialists. You visit people at home because sometimes they can't come here, but also it, you get to know who they are. You get to know them in their own home, so it's a privilege, really, for you to be invited in. Today, Keely is on her way to visit Marion, who's living with throat cancer, on the farm where she's lived and worked for many years. So I see everyone's got tea then. We don't get one. No, Mum used to shear sheep, right. you see. She's farming stock. <laughs> but then it's nice is that we can actually make sure that, you know, you can continue where you are, isn't it? And yeah. You haven't got to worry. And if that one stress is taken away... The main concept of what we do is I can get to know who they are. They can get to know uh, who I am. Trust is built up. Respect is built up. I can't even remember what it's called, no? Cancer. Um, because they had it... Well, you know better. They put it down to us when our mum had cancer first and they turned around and they said, whereas years ago Big C was the killer, they said, um, think of it like having an illness like, um, what's the other one, Fred? Um, diabetes. Diabetes. And they said, think of it, they go along, they have something else go wrong, but a lot of it is through medication, they can have a better and a longer life. Like when he said it's a big C, that's it, you're a dyer, you know. And, um, but I mean, it's not always so. With medication, it's giving her quality of life and she can get on with her life. It's not all about, you know, doom and gloom. It's about, you know, being well enough to go to the Cornwall show and do all the things that would have normally done and enjoyed from years gone by, rather than just sitting at home thinking, well, I'm poorly and that's it. But she's the best she's been in... Months. Yeah, definitely. Months. And she's walked much more and no pain, which is good. If, you know, they've got pain, you know them, you know what kind of pain it is and to what degree, and then you can work with that with them. As well as medical help, Keeley offers support to the whole family for all the anxieties that come with yeah, a life-threatening no illness. It's okay, and it's always nice to have someone who can answer the questions more than anything. If you've got queries or something, just to be able to say, well, is this normal? Should this be happening? Or should we feel like this? Which is quite nice. There's just something very special about being able to care for a patient in a holistic way and to have the time and the resources to look after people properly. Here you're a person. In the hospital, you're a patient or a number. Very rarely can they remember your name. And they get to know you and your family. And that's a big thing, I felt. They're there to support my family as well as me. That has made such a big difference. At such a challenging time for everyone, the emotional and spiritual support offered by the hospice is crucial. I just think it, it, it's a good place to come for reassurance, support, and counselling and, and your treatment all in one, you know. It's got everything, that's all I can say. Just makes you feel like a whole person and you're being treated as a whole person, not as something clinical. I was really happy I'd made the decision to come and have my treatment here. <laughs> Thanks very much. OK, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Whether you're a patient in the bedded unit, visit day hospice or receive care in your own home, the one thing you find is that North Devon Hospice has time. Time to listen and treat you as a person rather than an illness.